स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस कंटिन्यू विद आवर सेम चैप्टर उत्तराखंड वार्निंग बेल्स ऑन डेफ ईयर उत्तराखंड इज ए होम टू द फ्रेजाइल माउंटेन्स माउंटेनस रीजियन ऑफ द हिमालयस एंड हैज विटनेस्ड ए सीरीज ऑफ नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स ओवर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी ईयर्स इन जून टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन उत्तराखंड सफर्ड वन ऑफ इट्स वर्ल्ड नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स विच क्लेम्ड द लाइफ ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल एंड एनिमल्स फाइव ईयर्स डाउन द लाइन द रीजन्स दैट कोस्ट द डिजास्टर एंड एम्पलीफाइड द डैमेज रिमेन एज इज वट इज अलार्मिंग इज दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ एड्रेसिंग द कोसेस दैट लेट टू द डिजास्टर और increased its magnitude the uttarakhand government is seeking more dilutions to the stringent green laws it has been um seven years since the devastating floods occurred but the conditions in uttarakhand are as they were the flood plains are being encroached massive infrastructure projects many large dam dams are being carried out in the fragile himalayan region in the name of development dams in disaster prone areas are sometimes considered to amplify floods and earthquakes because of impact on the rivers course water levels and ecosystem and poor management which can further worsen the situation unabated construction of dams was one of the main reasons that amplified the destruction by 2013 floods but the governments are still following the same policies which invited the 2013 disaster the government of uttarakhand is not interested in improving the situation the only aim visible is to benefit to the contractors no action has been taken against any company which is constructing dams rather the government is giving them an escape route According to the Uttarakhand Government's Disaster Mitigation and Management Center, these disasters are seasonal in nature and strike at a certain period of the year with high frequency. You have just heard in the article that the Himalayas are sick and will die, and there is massive forestation, and a moratorium of at least 10 years on tree felling and if they die the country will surely die in a chain of natural disasters you have also listened to mira ben a prominent environmentalist who want of similar tragedies in her article published on june 5 1950 titled something is wrong in the himalayas this warning fell on deaf ears the state has now got 558 hydroelectric power projects in the pipeline which could affect 80% of the bagheerati and 65% of the alakananda said sunita narain director of the center for science and environment dams and roads blast their way through mountains triggering landslides moreover the debris from construction is dumped on the river bed so the river floods easily said vandana shiva noted environmentalist this also compounds climate changes country wide heavy rain 
events show a 14.5 percent spike per decade according to the National Atmospheric Research Laboratory, Tirupati. The Himalayas are warming faster than any mountain region, said Pandit. While the global average temperature increase is 0.74 degrees Celsius in the last 100 years, the Tibetan plateau is set to register a jump of 5 degrees Celsius by 2000 100 reports the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development. This coincided with massive development in an earthquake prone area. Simultaneously, urban population also zoomed with car registrations showing a 700 percent jump between 2001 and 2012. This means that the construction of dams and roads by blasting mountains causes landslides. Not only that, the after constructing is dumped on the riverbed. So the river easily gets flooded. It was also warned that the Himalayas are warming faster than ever. We can now conclude <coughs> that are the causes of the flood in this region. Badrinath is now more crowded than Chandni Chowk, says Pandit. The Himalayas cannot become Surat, Ahmedabad or Mumbai. As the 1977 report professes, time is running out not only for the Himalayas but also for the country. It is best that we, lis we listen this time around. Now le let me explain to you what Badrinath is and why it is crowded. Badrinath or Badrinarayan temple is a Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Vishnu which is situated in the town of Badrinath in Uttarakhand. The temple and town form one of the four Chardham and Chota Char, Chota Chardham pilgrimage sites. The temple is also one of the 108 Divya Desams dedicated to Vishnu who is worshipped as Badrinath, holy shrines for Vaishnavites. It is open for six months every year between the end of April and the beginning of November. Because of extreme weather conditions in the Himalayan region, the temple is located in Garwal Hill, St Garwal Hill tracks in Chamoli district along the banks of Alaknanda river at an elevation of 3133 meters above the ma main sea level. It is one of the most visited pilgrimage centers of India, having recorded 10,60,000 visits every year. <laughs>